people are living in tents and in their cars. It's an incredible situation, like, uh, you know, a student living in the car, you know, uh, coming down from wherever, you know, it's just... It's, it's beggar's belief, really, you know, it's, yeah, it's not, uh, not ideal for a student. I am trying to get uh, proper accommodation in Dublin uh, because I rent in Galway and I, um, I actually have a, I'm lodging with a friend on a very short term basis so um, it's, it's, it's not really uh, that secure so uh, I would like something more secure but uh, the finances I'd say I would not be able to afford um, unless I get a windfall of something or win the lotto um, most people the consensus is it's it's gone to it's gone extreme now. It's just gone. It's madness. The the prices that people want. It's like it's a it's an open market where people can charge what they want and they want to, the landlords owners want to want to they want the um, they want the profit. They know people are desperate and I mean there's queues for any amount of uh, uh, whether it be student accommodation or HAP housing assistance program like. Queues out the door, and not everyone is treated differently. Um, so it, it is very, um, you know, shoulder to shoulder competitive. We are sharing the house. Uh, it's a small house, a studio house, and uh, we are three of us, two guys and me, uh, female. Uh, so it's like uh, we are 15 days. Uh, I am staying out in the living room, and 15 days I am staying in the li uh, bedroom. So that is how we are sharing this. Right now I am working on my savings the, that I have back from India and also I have taken education loan which, uh, uh, which includes some part from, for the living expenses as well. So I don't want to get it ex all exhausted because uh, we don't know when the crisis will end. We have to struggle until we find a job. Since we are a student, we have to find a, so a job as soon as possible. We and uh, it might be very soon that the e interest and the EMI for the loans will start. It's a mental pressure because I have to think about money first. Even if I want to buy some books or go out on uh, some college fests, it's like I have to invest money, so it is going back from my savings itself. It is sometimes difficult to concentrate on studies because uh, oh, all of a sudden I start missing my home and then suddenly I feel like I should have not taken this step. And then I have to bring myself up that uh, I have taken this step and now I have to achieve this. So that is how I have to self-motivate myself. This country has just kind of prioritized profit over the interests of its own people. I suppose the crisis itself has been building for um, over a decade, I'd say, if not longer. I think one of the core issues is that the Irish government has really over relied on the private rental sector and it turns out, who could have guessed the private developers were just in it for profit. We've had students with budgets of upwards of um, 1,500 euro a month still unable to find it somewhere. So it nearly got to a point where it really didn't matter how much money you did have because there was absolutely no supply. And I think that the housing crisis is really having adverse impacts on Ireland's higher education sector as a whole. It's having impacts on students, it's having impacts on staff. So we've certainly done everything within our power to highlight the impacts that the accommodation crisis is having on students. But when it comes to actually addressing the root cause, which is the lack of accommodation, it's kind of beyond our hands. We've highlighted the need for more online resources like lecture recordings and whatnot with the university to somewhat kind of limited success. Um, and then I suppose we've also represented the students' interest nationally. We've um, really done a good job bringing the student accommodation crisis to the forefront of the agenda. But at the end of the day, we're a group of, I don't know, well, I'm 23. I think a strong student movement is would be really great because I think if you look at 
any change that's ever happened throughout history. It has been young people and specifically students kind of leading the charge. So, sorry that was long as well. <laughs> Perfect. Fabulous. Am I good to take this off now? Yeah, sure.